Hello everyone! The DXP is upcoming tomorrow and me and RSG decided to make a quick little guide with inspiration for DXP. We will cover 5 separate skills that are great to focus on for DXP and what XP boosters and methods they are. Honorable mentions that are not included in this video, anything related to portables, skills you really don't like training, or whatever you desire to level up. Let's jump right into it! First thing is to make sure that you make the most use out of the clan filthy bonus. You'll have to cap every week to get the XP percentage up, that's capped at 6%. This bonus works for every skill and is available all year around. To activate, cap at your citadel, attune to avatar, choose experience boost. For other experience boosts, we have pulse cores, cinder cores, urns, incense sticks, skilling outfits and auras. You do not necessarily need all of these, but they definitely do help. Summoning For summoning you should use blue charms to make geyser titans and crimson charms to either make steel titans or jacks for cheaper XP. The method I do here, I bring all the regents I use for summoning, sell a bit to the shop as noted and buy them back unknown. Just make sure to have enough shards in your inventory and pouches during the XP, people will usually put a deposit box that will make you able to deposit your pouches that you make for cheaper summoning experience. For the second skill, we decide to include teething and more specific safe cracking. For this, you need a lot of pretty quests, and this is the high level location for safe cracking, which will be in deep wilderness at Rogue's Castle. To make your way there, I usually use the obelisk. If you have the diaries done, you can just right click and choose your destination, teleport to the deep wild, make your way inside the castle, you need to enter from the side, from the sneaky little door, go upstairs and you'll find the safes. Just keep on opening the safes and when you've opened all three, just wait for them to respawn and open them again. Next case we decided to cover is combat and invention during ED3 trash runs. The major difference from doing ED3 trash runs to doing them efficiently is to use weapon poison, cinderbane gloves, your top gear, preferably shin shompas or if you're using any other style, as much AoE stuff as you can. And for the invention part, make sure to have the auto siphon and XP capacitors. For the most XP out of it, use a Scrimshaw Sacrifice, but if you want to make a little bit of money, then skip that part. The only mini boss worth killing while doing trash runs is boss mech boss phase. You have a rare chance of getting his cosmetic sword drop and you get dungeoneering tokens every time you kill him. You can use dungeoneering tokens for a lot of different purposes but it has an exchange rate of 1 on 1 for dungeoneering XP. The last method we decided to include, farming with instant growth potions. Make your way to the farm and buy yourself fruity instant growth potions. Then you need to make saplings for the trees, find your nearest fruit tree patch and replant the trees over and over again. This is by far the fastest farming XP in the game, but it's limited to how many beans you have for instant growth potions. Definitely worth doing during the XP as long as you have growth potions. 
And that concludes the quick little guide we decided to make for this DXP. Hopefully you find it interesting and learn something new. Thank you for watching, blah 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 and blah blah blah. Thank you RSG for blah blah blah. I'm